Hi, good morning, everyone. Good. All right. There uh, you go. Okay, thank you. Um, so, thank you for this introduction. And as it was aforesaid, my name is Karol Birnaski. And I am a PhD student at Gdańsk University of Technology, Faculty of Chemistry Department of Organic Chemistry. And today I would like to introduce to you to the steroid sulfatase topic and the progress that has been made in Professor Zemkovich's recent uh, research team in recent years. So, um, first of all, uh, what is it, the steroid sulfatase? So, it is an enzyme which is responsible for the uh, enzymatic hydrolysis of steroid sulfates to the biologically active forms, which means it is responsible for the formation of steroids in human tissues. Moreover, uh, steroid sulfate, which is abbreviated as STS, is widely distributed throughout the body in small amounts and undoubtedly play an important role in regulation of fundamental processes in human body. However, overexpression of it, which usually occurs in hormone-dependent cancers, unfortunately, greatly improves the proliferation of them. So, for that reason, effective inhibition of STS enzyme may improve efficacy in the treatment of hormone-dependent tumors, for example, a breast tumor, a prostate, a ovarian, as well as endometrial, bladder, and even colon. Uh, furthermore, uh, recently it has been emphasized that inhibition of STS may also found an application in the treatment in the treatment of, for example, Alzheimer's disease, endometriosis, uh, thyroid dysfunction, for example, Hashimoto conditions, um, PCOS, uh, which means polycystic ovary syndrome, as well as perimenopausal conditions. Uh, so, uh, in order to prove to you uh, the essence of research based on designing STS, I would like to show you some statistics that I have found in the internet. Um, so, according to the International Agency for Research on Cancer, uh, breast cancer is the most common tumor site all over the world. And this disease, particularly this disease, impacts over 2 million people every year and almost 700,000 of people die because of it and these statistics only uh, belong to the high developed countries so in reality these numbers are much much higher so for this reason exploring new possibilities uh, for hormone dependent cancer treatment including new sts inhibitors is surely uh, of a great importance so um in the past few years uh, Professor Stemkovich's research team has synthesized an enormous library of a compounds being STS inhibitors and evaluated them against this enzyme. So, uh, including from the left uh, up corner, tyramine sulfamates and tyramine sulfates and thiosphosphates with different substituents in the structure, which show the IC50 value in micromolar range in the test uh, enzymatic assay on purified enzyme. Also in the right up corner, flavonoids, as well as biflavonoids having phosphate and thiophosphate moiety, uh, of which biflavonoids were much more effective with IC50 value of 3.2 micromolar concentration for the best one compound. Moreover, derivatives of cumarins were also synthesized amongst them sulfamate cumarins, uh, which is showed uh, in the middle and in the middle of the left as uh, sulfamate cumarins possessing phosphate and thiophosphate moiety. Uh, and this kind of compound showed a particularly uh, high activity with IC50 value reaching up to 83 nanomolar concentration level, which is a really good result. Uh, moreover, uh, tricyclic form of cumarins have been also discovered as STS inhibitors. However, these one were like less active from the previous one. And last but not least, biphenyls were also discovered in our research team, which uh, the structure is shown on the uh, bottom right corner, 
however, the IC50 value range in micromolar concentration uh, and this activity is um, an average. So during my uh, PhD studies, I've decided to synthesize sulfamide derivatives based on one to three triazyl heterocycle, which structure is shown in the right uh, up corner, marked as black. Um, and I decided to synthesize them due to the high stability of this heterocyclic ring, as well as wide range of different biological applications of its derivatives, as well as possessing the possibility to the formation of additional electrostatic interactions, which may improve the biological activity. That was an assumption. So uh, my research was also supported by molecular modeling studies, uh, and honestly, with which I have started. So on the left side of the slide, I presented the result from docking binding modes for two compounds shown on the right side. Of course, the blue and the right one correspond to the blue and the red one showing the picture on the left side. And what is crucial over here that the binding mode, the red one and the blue one, are very similar to the green one, which is shown also. And the green one is called an um, erosusta. And this is the reference that has been used during the studies. And uh, this, this compound uh, at the very moment is undergoing the clinical studies in phase two in the treatment of hormone dependent cancer and prostate. So um, after selection of the best represents compounds from molecular modeling studies, I proceed to the organic synthesis. And shortly, uh, in the very first step, I have obtained the first intermediate trimethylsilyl acetylene phylum, which is shown uh, in the up uh, area of the slide. So after obtaining this first intermediate, the reaction of a proper amine with uh, which is shown uh, on the left side in the middle, uh, the reaction with uh, terbutyl nitride, trimethyl azide silyl uh, in triacetonitrol was conducted to obtain an azide and further, uh, finally, through dipolar cyclic addition uh, to give uh, um, almost final compounds being as phenols, which were furtherly uh, transferred to the final compounds through the salt formulation of hydroxyl group. What is important over here, the yields of production of these compounds are particularly high because in some cases, the first step was in like in 92% yield and the last one 88. So these are like very good results for the organic synthesis. And um, after obtaining them, I proceed to the biological studies so a series of a biological studies have been performed, including assays on purified enzymes, as well as radioisotopic cellular tests uh, using a MCF7 can breast cancer cell, cell line. So uh, this is a huge table, but the most important things are presented in the top uh, marked as a green. Uh, so in the course of these assays, I have selected five of the most. Um, derivatives, which are hi highlighted uh, in a green color, as I said, and they contain fluorine as well as chlorine atoms uh, in the structure. And what is very important over here, I would like to emphasize that these derivatives possess similar or even higher activity than erosustat, the reference that has been used, which is currently in clinical trials, as I uh, said before. And in particular, compound number three exhibited IC50 value of uh, 0.21 nanomolar concentration in cellular test, which means it has five times higher activity than the reference, which IC50 was equal to 1.06. So um, encouraged by this really good uh, in vitro um, results, I proceed to the in vivo experiment with five of the most active compounds, which structure are shown at the bottom of the slide. Uh, and preliminary experiments for the determination of a maximal tolerated dose has been made. And we established that 50 milligrams per kilogram of body weight uh, daily administration was established as an optimal. However, this uh, dose was still not the maximal tolerated because uh, 
However, honestly, this is a big dozer and uh, during administration of it, we did not observe any toxic effect. So we decided to, okay, this one we, was optimal and going through the high concentration of it was um, pointless. So uh, in the upper side of the slide, I uh, presented you the result of our experiment and we have measured the Timur growth inhibition factor. And it turns out that four out of five tested compounds exhibited a really good THI factors between 40 to 50%. Particularly, a compound number five uh, showed the tumor growth inhibition factor about 50%, which means it was able to reduce the tumor growth in 50%, almost in half, which is a really good result. Um, so, uh, to sum up, in the research group of Professor Demkovic, we have discovered an extremely potent STS inhibitors based on non-steroidal core, 1 to 3 triazole heterocycle, which exhibited higher activity than the reference Erosusta. And um, during our studies, we did not observe any toxic effect at the tested dose, morphological as well as biological results from the blood taken from the mice during the experiments were like at optimal level. Uh, moreover, necropsy confirmed the unchanged size of main organs, so we proved that our compounds are uh, really safe. Also, our obtained compounds exhibited extremely high biological activity in in vivo experiments. The tumor growth inhibition was established at 50% level for one of the compounds. And moreover, we confirmed through ELISA assay that our tested compounds are able to reduce the estradiol concentration in plasma, in blood plasma, even in half. So we proved them, we proved that uh, these compounds are really work. And um, also we proved that our compounds are highly resist resistant to the aqueous uh, hydrolysis. So, which uh, makes them as a, maybe not perfect, but really good uh, representative for further uh, clinical uh, evaluations. And uh, what is also that I would like to emphasize is that our results are fully protected by PTC patent applications. And honestly, I think there is a still place in the pharmaceutical market for STS inhibitors, because like none of them has reached it yet. And uh, what next? I think in the next future, we would like to proceed with much more detailed in vivo studies uh, in course to reach the clinical trials. Um, so like very now, we are looking forward to um, cooperation with some industries or uh, pharmace pharmaceutical companies which are able to help us to through go to go through uh, this much more detailed in vivo studies, uh, studies and to help us enter the clinical trials so um thank you uh, for your attention and if you have any questions please do not hesitate to ask them and i would like also uh, add that after the presentation i'm gonna to attach on the chat a, a short teaser uh, in which our results are briefly des described over there and if someone would like to um uh, of course we'll be interested to cooperate or, or something just you can download it, it and uh, and see what have we done so thank you again oh sorry uh thank you very much uh and um i have a very technical question when you uh synthesize the the chemical compounds uh, there uh at the end, uh, at the final form, they're uh, solubilized in water, an aqueous solution, or? Uh... Um, okay, I'm, I do not quite understand. Solubilized, what, what do you mean? I'm sorry. Solubilized, uh, so like dissolved. Ah, uh, ah like, uh, solubilized, oh, okay, I understand. Um, it, our compounds uh, are not very go good uh, soluble in water. However, uh, during the in vivo studies, we, we proceed to the administration of them in the solution of DMSO, which are like really good soluble on over there, uh, but in water, just slightly, I should say. Of course, it depended what, kind, what compound uh, we choose.
Yes, but uh, uh, the injections of DMSO, they're uh, neutral for mice and uh, animal models? Uh, to be honest with you, uh, I do not have this kind of knowledge because our in vivo studies have been performed uh, with cooperation uh, with Institute of uh, Immunologica, uh, Immunologic at the uh, Polish Academic of Science in mm -hmm. Wrocław. Uh, however, we proceed with uh, standard procedures and what I know mm -hmm. that DMSO is like fine for this kind of studies, so okay. we decided just to proceed that way. Yeah, yeah I totally believe you and it was just a question because I don't know it personally as well. So, uh, But the, the results, they look very, very promising. Did you talk to any pharmaceutical companies already? Um, yeah, uh, however, uh, it is not quite easy to proceed in the next step, of course, just because of money. Uh, however, uh, the meetings are like still going and we have uh, like a couple of them. So mm -hmm. who knows, maybe in the future we would like mm -hmm. to proceed farther, maybe finally enter the clinical trials. However, we are still like looking uh, for companies that uh, will be uh, interested in this kind of uh, research. However, the oncological part area, um, it is really hard to get over there. Yes, yes I totally understand. But uh, I, if, if I may suggest something, maybe uh, it could be something beneficial for you to, to listen to the webinar on Wednesday. Uh, because there will be people uh, talking uh, with big pharma experience and uh, maybe they could help you somehow uh, to to proceed somehow with the with talks with big pharma because I, I personally i know that it's not very easy but yeah uh, so uh, i would like to attend this however as i remember we like need to register over there to have a, a to get the link ah, okay okay is it possible still like today to register over yes. there yeah yes. okay. <laughs> Every single minute. <laughs> okay, great. Yes. Well, thank you very much. Uh, and uh, yeah, good luck. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Thank you for your attention.